good afternoon. It's August the 1st, 2017. Time to wrap up our trading for today. Take a look at tonight and tomorrow. Hypothetical simulated performance results have certain limitations unlike an actual performance record. Simulated results do not represent actual trading. Also, since the trades have not been executed, results may have under overcompensated for the impact, if any, of certain market factors such as lack of liquidity. Simulated trading programs in general are also subject to the fact that they're designed with the benefit of hindsight. No representation is being made that any account will or is likely to achieve profit or losses similar to those shown. Another pretty quiet day in the E-mini. The news was mixed. But generally, uh, the big news was, um, as per the forecast, ISM manufacturing, the uh, personal spending number and personal income numbers were lower. So... Um, this trade could have given you six if you took four with a resting limit order. This trade could have given you six if you took four with a resting limit order off the mean green. Just would have come in, but no worse than four. Uh, this buy right here would have been a positive. Another retest failure trade here, positive. And this retest failure trade right here positive then the market dies so we had some pretty good activity this morning uh, the personal income personal spending news was mixed um, to a worse forecast for the indexes there really wasn't much of a reaction to that news uh, in fact the market rallied off of that news uh, then the uh, ISM manufacturing was as expected so um, when we look at this market I believe everything is still right for the market to rally. I'm going to take a bigger piece of news or miss than we had today <coughs> uh, to take us down. So we've got a higher low, higher high. We're still dealing with P's. We've still got buying behind us. And if we look at F2, on the E-mini, not gold. We've got a P, uh, although put in very, very slowly. And the first move was down. So this market is still trying to trade up. I still think, you know, the we're selling 78s to 80s with a question mark at 75, then 84 to 86. On the buy side, um, the... Um, 69 to 71 is where we were this morning. Not perfect, but pretty close. And 65, 67 for buy two. Uh, tomorrow's news, ADP 173K. Friday's non-farm payroll, they're looking for 180. And then we'll have the crude inventories. And we have the um, API numbers tonight. So uh, rolling into Friday's non-farm payroll number. which usually um, keeps the trading contained and soft. The action's been in crude. Wow. And we're seeing the same mindset in crude that we've had in the E-mini. Now, I, I know, you know, you get jerked around and the rest of that, but because we're sell-stopping or buy-stopping into the market, we're really pre-positioning for these type of moves to come. And this pylon buying or pylon selling, which uh, can be a characteristic of the E-mini, actually serves us pretty well. So it's not something to be worried or nervous about. We need um, volatility to prosper as day traders. Outside day uh, on the note, trading range, and I believe the trading range is what we'll face. Uh, very, very strong market. Um, so, will we get follow through buying tonight in London or not? My guess is no. Sell 1, 7 to 11, 15 to 19, sell 2. On the buy side, 29s to 01. Give it a little room to the downside because I think we will find sellers at 8 to 12. And then uh, 21 to 25 for buy 2. Now, when we have, you go back and look at this. We had two days where they just just don't have enough range in the note to do very well at all. 
and all of a sudden we've got a lot of range. And that, that, that I remember when I was trying to learn how to trade, um, as per Stellemeyer's advice, trading corn, we'd work all week to make a nickel or six cents, and we could lose it on that last day because corn did nothing for four days, and then, bam, just exploded on the fifth day. And if you're on the wrong side of that, it was painful. And all that patience, all that wondering, all that head scratching that you uh, uh, that you do, wondering if you should stay with the trade. I mean, it just it would wear you out. And that's that's another nice thing about trading crude, is that most of the time it delivers pretty fast results. So uh, we we welcome that. Note's been pretty quiet. That's why we're in the bond. We make some pretty good money in the bond. It's got the volatility. Even the B's and S's work in the bond. Okay, number one is 54, 5405. Sell 7 to 11. 15 to 19 for sell 2. On the buy side, 20 to 24, number 1. Buy 13 to 17. And 5 to 9 for buy 2. Now, there may be something afoot, something going on. Treasuries are higher. Uh, somebody always knows. Currency collapse, governmental collapse, and I mean the obvious one is uh, Venezuela. Flight to quality. Um, but based on the news and the strength in the indexes, this market is pretty strong, historically speaking. Outside day in crude, I mean in gold, um, trade it. Uh, so we had a seller into 80. We liked that trade this morning. So I believe we had a 79 to 80. We had 74, 76, and 79 to 81. So our number two sell zone held. Didn't reject this area. That is where resistance is. So 79, 81, sell one. 84, 86, sell 2. On the uh, buy side, um, 73, 75, buy 1. 70, 72, buy 2. And looking at crude oil, outside day, trade it on the F1 screen. And multiple distributions down. A very, very strong rally back up in here. So we had the spill from 49.40, start of the distribution down 49.65 uh, this morning. Could have been short as high as uh, 98 to the buck. High was 50.01. Uh, we caught the trade at, um, I think at 88 this morning. We actually caught that one live, and that was good for 40 ticks, even with the most lenient exit. So the uh, selling was attributed to a report showing that OPEC members are in July produce more than they were supposed to, and I don't want to go well duh. Uh, but right now in the month of August, uh, we've got Saudi Arabian production cutbacks of 600,000 to 900,000 barrels. And uh, the Venezuelan production looks more and more suspect uh, each day. And that, of course, will be offset by the o other OPEC producers. So fundamentals remain lousy. It's still pretty easy. Uh, for the market to rally. 49 and a quarter, 49.50, sell one. 49.75.50, sell two. On the buy side, um, let's go 48.50, 48.75, buy one. 48 even, 48 and a quarter, buy two. 
may have to raise the buys based on what happens overnight. This morning, a couple of times I looked over there, the euro wasn't doing much. Uh, we like the short side of the market. And uh, we had an inside day that implies or suggests that we'll have a trading range tomorrow. And got a pretty square distribution, leaning B. Um, well, this morning I think we had a uh, 50 to 60 sell. Looks like we got up to 67, so we caught that. And on the buy side, uh, we had um, 25 to 35, so we had a low of uh, 15. So not perfect, but we got pretty close to the edge of the euro. Uh, just looks like a trading range, so we had the breakout from 118 even, 118.10. So we'll make um, 118 even, 118.10 by 1. I think it stops below today's lows and 117.75 by 2. On the uh, sell side, got a seller at 40, so 40 to 50 sell 1. And 65 to 75 sell 2. Can trade this one from either side. Okay, that does it for this August the 1st, 2017. I'll see you bright and early in the morning. Y'all have a great evening.